Okay, so good morning everyone. Today we will continue with uh, the anatomy club. We reached the oropharynx and the laryngopharynx. will be continued from here, presented by Dr. Shanga. She can start, please. Good morning everyone. Uh, now we start the oropharynx, continuation of the previous lecture, oro and laryngopharynx. The oropharynx extends from the lower part of the soft palate to the epiglottis and it's, con uh, it's continuous through the posterior fossas with the oral cavity. It's lined by the mucosa uh, uh, and then submucosal continuous, which is uh, continuous with the pharyngeal basophacillar ba uh, pharyngeal bas basilar fascia above of the uh, of the nasopharynx and muscular layer continuation of from the superior constrictor uh, and some of the uh, tongue muscles and levator and tensor valley uh, levator uh, valley palatini and tensor valley palatini uh, uh, the laryngopharynx is a part of the la of the pharynx that's lying behind the larynx from the epiglottis to the C6, where uh, uh, the upper laryngopharynx is molded around the proximal part of the larynx, forming the two deep recess, which is called uh, piriform recess, piriform fossae. Uh, during the decretination, the uh, epiglottic will stand up and uh, stand erect and uh, prevent passing of the food to, uh, to the. Uh, so to during the swallowing, the epiglottis will change erect. position from open to in, to closed position of the trachea to prevent food from passing into the respiratory tract instead of yes. going into the GI tract. Yes, yes. Closing the uh, respiratory tract. Radiology, the lateral film is uh, uh, the lateral x-ray of the skull and the neck is demonstrate the soft to show outline uh, of the pharynx and lateral tomography give improved separation of the soft tissue planes. Posterior wall, posterior wall of the uh, posterior wall of the pharynx is uh, should be three millimeter, uh, should be three millimeter anterior to the C4, and uh, should uh, should not be exceed, uh, in the inferior to it should be more than that, but uh, however it not be more than uh, the uh, uh, width of the vertebrae, of the adjacent vertebra. But in the children is uh, much more uh, thin, uh, thicker than the, uh, in adult, it reach five millimeter uh, uh, adjacent, to the, uh, adjacent to the C4 vertebrae, while uh, lower uh, to, uh, adjacent to the C6 uh, reach about 12 millimeter. This is like you can uh, see here. About C4 uh, is C4 thin, thin, around and then four can millimeter, thicker. and then at below the C4, it's much wider, yes. but not more than the width uh, of the adjacent, adjacent vertebrae. vertebrae. We have another study, a radiological study for the uh, uh, laryngopharynx uh, is uh, called the palatal, palatal study and video, video fluoroscopic feeding study. This uh, study is used for uh, uh, during the phonation and during also during the uh, eating. Uh, the phonation can be imaged by, uh, by radiological uh, the movement of the palate can be imaged during uh, uh, by the lateral projection. Lateral projection where the position of the soft palate can be seen outlined by the ear. Movement of the palate during the complex speech study uh, called video fluoroscopy. Uh, it is it is uh, uh, used uh, it is used with or without coating the nasal or uh, uh, nasal and oral surface of the palate with the barium uh, either we use barium or not uh, the uh, during during uh, uh, the uh, feeding also can be used uh, using the food uh, which is uh, food or liquid uh, of the various consistency mixed with the barium some people have swallowing abnormality have some sort of paralysis or abnormal movement of the soft palate of the epiglottis. So they just mix food or fluid or whatever with some barium and they ask them to eat or swallow and you image them by using fluoroscopy to detect where is the problem exactly. We have another imaging study is cross-sectional imaging which is used uh, uh, CT by using CT or MRI provide the excellent detail of the pharynx and, and its related space. Pathology cause asymmetry uh, which is radially detected. 
image are used to obtain it axial or coronal. Uh, the coronal can be used the MRI or CT. The MRI can be used any in any plane, while the CT should be reconstructed study. Now, uh, uh, starting the larynx. Larynx is formed of uh, is formed to the end. Uh, is co uh, form and entrance of the airway and it's responsible for the voice product uh, production. It is extend from the base of the tongue to the trachea. The base of the tongue to the trachea, lying anterior to the third two six cervical vertebrae, lie behind the great vessel of the neck anteriorly. So it says from C3 to C6. Mm. Okay. The larynx, which is the voice box, the things that causes uh, make us starting talk. from epiglots to the cricopharynx, uh, which is uh, ad, uh, to the uh, cricoid cartilage, which is the only the the the, the, the first tracheal ring. The cricoid cartilage is the first tracheal ring, ring. okay, mm -hmm. and it's the only one that is complete. All the rest of the tracheal rings are, are missing posterior, yeah. only the cricoid. It has uh, the uh, the larynx, uh, larynx has three paired uh, cartilage and three singles cartilage. Uh, the three single cartilage is thyroid cartilage and epiglottis and uh, cricoid cartilage. While the three paired cartilage is arytenoid cartilage and uh, and cuneiform and cor coracoid cartilage. This is thyroid cartilage which has two laminae adjo uh, uh, adjoining in the midline uh, with the thyroid, uh, forming the thyroid uh, notch. Thyroid notch, uh, it is uh, it ha anteriorly, this is anteriorly, the, while posteriorly it has two horns, superior and inferior horns. While the cricoid cartilage is uh, is a, a, a notch in a, anter it is a rich anter uh, anteriorly a ring cricoid is a ring is a ring anteriorly while posteriorly has a border uh, surface uh, border surface at, uh, adjacent to the epiglottis by the Bro broader broader uh, surface okay. It's, okay. A, it's like a ring anteriorly it's thin mm -hmm. while posteriorly it is broad okay just like the ring you were in the, your finger. Uh, it's adjoined to the thyroid cartilage by the cricothyroid ligament. Cricothyroid ligament, while, while posteriorly is adjoined to the arytenoid cartilage by ari epiglo, uh, ari, uh, uh, crico ari, arytenoid uh, ligament. Uh, while the epiglottis is a leaf-like uh, uh, structure, cartilage, uh, no. it's leaf-shaped cartilage whose narrow, uh, ha whose narrow base or uh, petiole, or called petiole, it's attached to the inner surface of the thyroid cartilage at the anterior, uh, anterior extremity of the vocal cord. It projects up behind the base of the tongue behind the base of the tongue, as, as we mentioned, you uh, the direct the bolus laterally into the pyriform fossae during the, degre during the deg degretition, thus protecting the, uh, thus protecting the larynx from inserting the food. As pair of the mucosal fold called the pharyngeal fold pass laterally from the epiglottis to the pharyngeal wall, three we have three glossoepiglottic fold, namely cent a central and two lateral, pass from the anterior surface of the epiglottis to the base of the tongue. These form a paired recess between the base of the tongue and the epiglottis, known as a valicule. So what you have is the laryngopharynx surrounded by the, the, the larynx surrounded by the pharynx. When the food comes in, okay, it should go into the pharynx, not into the larynx. How is that done? There is a like a cover, okay, which is the epiglottis. So the epiglottis is a leaf-like. 
attached to the base of the tongue by three folds. Okay? So when the food comes, it will close the epiglottis on the larynx. And there are two side holes, side ways, let's say, side gutters, side fossae, two spaces on each side of the epiglottis from right, right and left side. The food will pass onto them, the pyriform fossae, mm -hmm. will pass into them and will slide into the uh, esophagus. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Preventing it from going into the larynx, into the lung, and so causing yes. much problem, aspiration, pneumonia, things like that. Yes. Uh, we have uh, another three parent uh, cartilage, which is arytenoid cartilage. Is, uh, is a sit on the superior lateral margin of uh, of the signet post uh, of the signet posteriorly, and this bear the anti uh, anterior inferior vocal f uh, process, which is give the vocal ligament, raised to the vocal ligament or through vocal cord. This is arytenoid cartilage, and this is the vocal uh, ligament or vocal cord. Uh, and uh, uh, above it, there is the vestibular ligament. Yes. Any epiglottic fold are further pair of the lateral margin of the epiglottis posteriorly to the arytenoid cartilage, separating the larynx from the pyriform fossa, together with the epiglottis defined in terms of the larynx. I mentioned. Another uh, 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 corniculate cartilage sit on the top of the arytenoid cartilage and cuneiform cartilage uh, it lies immediately lateral to the free margin of the fold. Now, a hyoid bone. Hyoid bone is a U-shaped bone between the mandible and the thyroid cartilage. It, it has small central body uh, uh, and long extension to the each side called the greater corn, uh, cornua or horn. Smaller, lesser cornua uh, arise from the upper surface. The tip of each greater cornua attached to the styloid process by the styloid, by the styloid ligament. Yes. Styloid. This is hyoid bone. So the hyoid bone Has articulates with, with, with what other bone? Uh, with the with the uh, thyroid cartilage. The th the hyoid bone. Hyoid bone. Articulates with what styloid. other bone? Styloid process. The hyoid bone is the only bone in the body that does not articulate with any other bone. Mm -hmm. It's just floating. Mm -hmm. suspended from up and down by ligaments and muscles mm -hmm. and things like that. It does not contact with contact any other one. Any. Yeah, any direct contact. There is no joint. Okay. It's just has, fine. Okay. Has body from the center with two uh, cornua. And what's the only bone that has no uh, muscles attached to it? The talus. The talus has no muscles attached to it. The only bone with no, no muscle insertion. I guess I, I will read a fundamental, yes. Okay, so. It has uh, lesser cornua and greater cornua. The cross-sectional anatomy of the larynx is uh, divided into three parts, supraglottic level and glottic level and infraglottic level. This is supraglottic level. We saw the uh, greater cornua of the hyoid bone and uh, or nasopharynx behind it uh, uh, and the muscle uh, of the tongue, base of the tongue also can be seen in this level. Uh, as well as there is uh, posterior to it, there is uh, a pharyngeal constrictor muscle, and lateral to it, there is a, a, a carotid sheath. Mm -hmm. While at the level of the epiglottis, uh, we see continuous cartilage uh, ring uh, from the thyroid, car thyroid cartilage. Uh, okay. anteriorly and the arytenoid cartilage posteriorly with the uh, with the rim of the of the glottis in the middle of it uh, uh, and there is the constrictor muscle of the pharynx okay. 
uh, infraglottic uh, level, we saw the we saw the laryngeal airway in the middle of the uh, picture, and behind it there is constrictor muscle of the inferior constrictor muscle of the pharynx, and lateral to it we show the uh, thyroid. Thyroid what? Thyroid uh, gland. So, the importance of knowing that we all suffer from the complex anatomical structures of the neck. Mm -hmm. And it's a very common site for malignancy. The laryngeal carcinoma is a very common fatal disease, mm -hmm. okay, especially in smokers. So, what you have to know is the whole management will differ according to the level of the tumor. Is it supraglottic? Is it infraglottic? Is it glottic? Is it supraglottic extending to the glottic? You have to know where is it exactly, because your report will define the management of the patient. Yes. Uh, in the cr in the cross sectional, we should uh, show the uh, symmetry of the uh, bilaterally. If there is any asymmetry, it means that there is pathology. Exactly. Uh, we can uh, radiolog uh, radiology radiology. Uh, uh, radiology can image the larynx by the plain uh, radiology. Lateral view are most useful as larynx is not obscured by the overlying bone. The air of the pharynx and the larynx provide in uh, intrinsic co uh, const uh, constant contrast, with, contrast uh, with the soft tissue wall and mucosal fold. The lateral view of the hyoid bone uh, and the cartilage uh, and the cartilage of the larynx are seen in the plain field. Uh, the thyroid and cricoid and arytenoid cartilage and uh, irregularity of ossification. These cartilages, the thyroid, cricoid, and arytenoid are cartilages. With age, they tend they to calcify. Mm -hmm. Sometimes even ossify. They changes into like bone-like. Okay, mm -hmm. but however, the ossification will be irregular. Irregular. Okay, but or ho may maybe, be maybe homogeneous, but some uh, most time is irregular. This is the plain uh, lateral view. We show the larynx. Yeah, show us. Yeah, this is epiglottis, calcified part of the epiglottis. Okay, and you can see number sixteen is the hyoid bone, of course. Sixteen okay. is thyroid cartilage, calcified thyroid cartilage. Sure. Yes, I what I read. Okay. And what's going on? This is the cricoid cartilage. I doubt. Ma alf mo ani ham abali hide men bas kadmi. This part is. Maybe maybe it's wrong in the book. This is a hyoid bone. It's yes. not a thyroid cartilage. Mm -hmm. While twelve is. A cricoid. Cricoid and cricoid thyroid cartilage. sits above it. Yes. Okay. This you is. You can see the fourteen is the ring. The ring of the cricoid cartilage, the number 14. Okay, yes. and the uh, arytenoid is just above it. I think okay. number 15, maybe. Yes. Good. It's cricoid and arytenoid. We have another imaging study is tomography. It is uh, This is useful for the AP plane when the overlying bony density are blurred to the allow better detail, the true for and false cord and laryngeal ventricle can be best be performed by this uh, uh, study. This is tomography. Well, I would, uh, now no one uses tomography anymore. It's an old technique that have almost been extinct. I've never seen a machine of tomography. Uh, CT is much easier to do now. CT, yeah. Okay. Anyway, it's just a way of showing the structures at a more in uh, the IP view. details. Uh, yeah. When there is when it is blurred by the IP uh, in uh. the IP view, we can use this. Okay. CT and MRI is cross sectional using the CT provide the excellent anatomical detail for the larynx and the, uh, its surrounding structure. So the cartilages will be of low density unless it is calcified, which occurs in older age group, okay? And uh, all cartilage will be high on T2 in the MRI and low on T1 because they contain water. Yes. Okay. Uh, the mucosa well, of the subglottic larynx and the anterior commissure should be... One millimeter. Not more than one millimeter. Okay. If they are more than one millimeter, there is a problem with them, okay? okay. 
you have true and false true and false vocal cord true is low يعني uh, true is low signal intensity while the false is high signal intensity because the true are muscles huh. mm. so they are of low signal soft tissue mm. signal intensity while the false they have just fat fat yeah. high so signal intensity high. okay this is uh, what uh, wh what we show yeah this is c this is the yeah. uh, false uh, false uh, True cold. Yeah, cold. on T1, exactly. Yeah. Yes. It will be low, low the, the false cores have fat which appears as hyper intense on T1 and T2, mm -hmm. while the true cores have muscle which appear as iso intense on T1 and T2. Mm -hmm. So it just mm -hmm. does make a difference. This is what we show, the same as we show in the diagram, yeah. uh, supraglottic, uh, in the, this is in the epiglottic re region, and this is the infraglottic. Supraglottic is the same as epiglottic. Supraglottic, glottic, and infraglottic. Exactly. What is the but, super, this uh, is the glottic level. But uh, what is uh, strange in this is there is asymmetry. When, when, whenever, as we say, whenever there is any asymmetry, it is mean the pathology. So it is the pathology. Yeah, which is an which abscess. is abscess. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think we should stop here now because time is catching up to us. We will continue maybe next week, inshallah, uh, with the thyroid gland. Thank you very much.